Okay, Shelly. I brought you some crack. What you know is this? this? You're about to find out. What is going down, world? Welcome to the 40 year old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus. And it's your boy, Don Wannabe, back in the house once again. So I'm going to be completely honest. I have not watched this video. I watched the first like couple seconds and I was like, what is happening here? I see donkeys, see what looks like to be farmland and mountains and some wholesome looking young ladies. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's just very interesting because I saved this clip last night and I was like, oh, this could be fun to react to. Mm -hmm. And then we just reacted to pound town. So (laughs) this might be the perfect, you know, Polar opposite palate cleanser, if you will, or just like switch to the whole other side of the spectrum. Yeah. So you guys, we just reacted to pound town. I don't know if it's part two. I don't know what's going on. And it was pretty ratchet to say the least. Yeah. So I did need something to cleanse my palate a little bit because I'm just on some like chill stuff these days. But yeah, 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 man, this looks kind of cool. I'm with it. All right, man. I'm with this. Let's see what's going on. This is the trio Mandilli. What, What does that mean? The well, it's a mandolin, so oh. I imagine that it in trio is three, so the mandolin three. All right, we're gonna see what's good, you know y'all. What I mean? uh, don't forget to like a couple share. mandolin up in here, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, you know, the what I'm mandolin saying? duo. This is true, though, but I ain't true, though, you know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, don't forget to like, share, and comment on all the content if you're really rocking with the vibe. Subscribe, let's go 40. 40 year old what? 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 The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. 40 year old FUQ Boys podcast. Malt liquor for your ears. 40. All right, let's get this logo down, man. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm dropping a new music video, Space Invaders. Depending on when you watch this, it's either out or coming out. Help me get it to 10,000 views, you guys, and let's keep the system rocking. All right, now this is the trio Mandilili. Mandilli. Mandilli. Um, the song's called. Kakuri, Kakuri. Where Kakuri. do you think they're from? Where do you think they're, they're like, like Russian, Middle Eastern? Yeah, it looked like Russian, like the the lettering, like I saw in some of their videos, like the sub or the what do you call it comments yeah. section. It's weird because they're outside, right? Yeah, they're outside. It looks super rural, but my girl's nails are did, her eyebrows are did. They're looking pretty cute. Like I'm like, okay, good job. That's crazy. Well, not good job, but you know what I'm saying. Like, it's. I didn't think there'd be a nail spot like from this view. I was thinking we're out like Amish country. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just saying her yeah. nails are dead, yeah. bro. Like, okay. Yeah. You know, they they do that to. I don't know if they do it to get noticed or for you know whatever, but it's like, you know, it's they, probably to pick the mandolin. Maybe. You know what maybe. I mean? You're over here like, oh, she getting her nails done. Yeah, I seen Ren. His fingers are kind of. You know what I mean? He be playing. His fingers ain't dead. <laughs> so I'm just saying, man. Okay. Yo, I'm new to this. All right. Well, shout out to these love, lovely young ladies. And let's see what they got for us. Um, I, I definitely, Pound Town is a no-go for me. Um, so I'm interested to see what they got going on here. Here we go. Yo, they're precious, yo. Low key, they're adorable, and this uh, this would give me like Muslim vibes. Like it's like a like for maybe a, like you know how like when you hear like the singing from the mosque was like hmm. ah, da, da, or something like in the back. That's what I'm getting. So hmm. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I'm just telling you because it's a reaction. We've never heard of them before. That's the vibe. I mean, let me let it play. <laughs> Yeah, 
hold on. Hold on, my bad. Let me just make sure. Right. Oh, that's definitely not in English. I was just wondering if there was something like if I could break this down. Oh, like they that might Dagestan. be Muslim because they've got like the that's like the, the <coughs> Habib. Yeah, isn't that for like sheep herding or something like that or no? Yeah, I think it's like they take it from like the belly of a baby sheep. Like there's a specific like part of the sheep that they use to make those hats, so it's like super soft. Yeah, this is crazy, yo. So this is proof that music is the universal language because I don't know what they're saying, but the vibration in here shifted for me. Yeah, I love everything about this video. I mean, the donkeys in the background. Like, just as soon donkeys. as I saw it, yeah, just being donkeys. Like, as soon as I saw that, like, I just immediately was like, dude, I want to watch this video and react to it. Like, I don't know what direction it's going to take, but you see the mountains in the background. It looks like Colorado. It does. Like, there, there's a sense of just, like, home, but at the same time, you know, it's not home. Then, like, the simplicity of it all, you know, it's just, like, them, like, literally walking, just playing it. And then the other thing is, is, like, you know, obviously there's all these conversations about women in the West, modern women. I'm not going to get too crazy on it, right? But, <laughs> Yo, pound, pound. But let's just, let's just put this out there. Like they're not wearing a bunch of makeup and they're beautiful. Like, you know, they're, they're not sitting there, you know, you called out the fingernails, but let's just be real. They got like, you know, the handkerchiefs on their head. It's not like they're out there, like, you know, doing their hair all crazy and caking on this makeup and they're still, still beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Exactly. And then just like the vibration, like you said, is amazing. I think they're from Georgia. Oh, the country Georgia. Yeah. Is it, yeah. 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 Um, so check this out, man. So, you know, being the single man that I am, I mean, I might have to be a passport bro and fly to Georgia. Yeah. I mean, this is what I think with, um, they're giving me sister vibes. Yeah. Like they're that, all that's poten what I potentially sisters. Yeah. I felt like the one with the donkey was probably the youngest. And then they go up in age. Um, That was the vibe I was getting. Uh, On top of that, me having a daughter, this is the dream. My dream would, if I had daughters, right, I'd like to have a boy. I don't know if it's in the cards for us. God willing, we will see what happens if we'll have any more kids. But if I did have daughters, or a or another daughter. This is yeah. what I would love. Like, you know, this is the vibe, bro. I hope that my leadership in the household could help create this type of thing. Where well, it's, yeah, it's, there's another video that I just kind of scrolled through when I was like looking to what to react to. And again, I just watched the first couple seconds just to see. And maybe we react to one of those if people enjoy it. But like if there was like a grandma in the background yeah. and I think some of their other family members and just that sense of community that is like so lost in our modern era right it's like they you know it looks like farm rural life where you you know you have to work hard where family is of utmost importance because you rely on each other in a different way and so this this song and these it's sisters just, just bring, bring up, up so many so emotions people can see it it's so beautiful this right here is so beautiful to see them embrace their culture and not derive like people get mad at me actually you guys get mad at me right now because i'm about to sh on the game straight up <laughs> straight up f that i'm tired of people judging me for my ideas and opinions they embrace their culture it's beautiful this k-pop nonsense all they're doing is jacking western culture and you know like fusing it and i'm like everyone's like oh it's this ha, ha, ha. this is what i want to see when i see like k-pop stuff I love when it's like Korean, like they're you, you showing off their culture. That's mm -hmm. the part I love. I hate when it's like, oh, let me act like the people from the West, which typically what's going on here in the West is pretty degenerative. It has its moments. It has beauty. There's beauty in the streets. I'm not knocking it, but I want to see your culture. And from this, I got to see their culture. That's just my thing. People get mad when I do the K-pop reactions. I'm like, okay, I've seen this before. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Sorry. Okay. Just had to get that out there because this is so beautiful <laughs> and it's so missing the authenticity of just people being them. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I can see that point. So I, I can get what you're saying. Like, I think that there's a beauty in, in 
sharing culture and falling in love with the culture yeah. and, and taking part in it and adopting it and putting yeah. your own spin on it. But I totally understand what you're saying because some of this stuff that I've seen, the, the level that people are like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. It's like, we've seen all this. We've seen the style yeah. of, of, you know, now people are bringing back 90s style. Like, I'm sorry, I grew up with that. So there's nothing new or original yeah. about it. It's like I was wearing, you know, a lot of the stuff that people are wearing. It's and like we did that. Let me take it back a little bit. The XG stuff, I saw some from them that I kind of liked recently. I was yeah. like, oh, this is the 90s. Like, cool. I'm not hating. I'm just like, but people, it's not necessarily people get all weirded out when I say it. And they it's start roasting me in the comments. I'm like, bro, don't tell me I ain't seen something like this. Don't compare them to this. I'm like, bro, this is literally, it's a boy band, literally from Korea. Like, yeah. don't tell me it's not a boy band. It is. That's yeah. all I'm saying. And this is amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. I've never it. seen it before. So kudos to them. Not trying to. Yeah, I just wanted to bring it back to them and say I thought this was a. This amazing is amazing. Vibe. This is tight. This is what I'm on. This is what gets me up to go see YouTube videos, stuff like this. This is dope. Anyway, shout out to the uh, trio Mandili. And uh, if you guys want to see more of these ladies on the channel, let us know and we'll bring it back. Anyways, uh, yo, like, sh like, share, comment, subscribe. You know what it is. 40. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. 40. Q-Boy